How's it going, people? I'm in paradise right now. It's a little early, but I thought I'd grab me some Heine. Uh, you can see I was drinking with a pinky in the air because this is a high-class video. So, I brought along a, a good book. This is not my best copy. I've got like three copies of this book, but this one's a little beat up because I didn't want to bring it out into nature and uh, mess it all up. Let's see if I can find what I'm looking for now. I've been wanting to talk about something. This is it. Let's see. I should have found where I was looking to read first, shouldn't I? All right. I have no idea where it's at. Let's see. Well, let's start off with a profound prophecy, and it is in uh, Surah 61, Asaph. And it's, um, uh, it's Surah 61, 6. This is Jesus talking. And remember, when Isa, Jesus, the son of Miriam, Mary, said, O children of Israel, I am a messenger of Allah, sent to you, reaffirming uh, Turat, uh, the Torah that came before me, and giving the good news of a messenger, reference to the Prophet Muhammad, to come after me, whose name shall be Ahmed. But when he, the Prophet, came upon them with clear proofs, they said, this is clearly magic aimed at deception. So, and then, let's see, I got something else highlined down here. Uh, Surah 61, 14. O you who believe, uh, O you who believe, become you the helpers in the cause of Allah. As Isa, Jesus, the son of Miriam, Mary, said to the followers, disciples, who will be my helpers? Uh, to the work of Allah, uh, said the followers, disciples. We are Allah's helpers. Then a portion of the children of Israel believed, and a portion disbelieved. So we gave power to those who believed against their enemies, and they became the ones who won. They were the winners. I'm still looking. I haven't. I should have planned this ahead of time. I gotta take these glasses off. I can't read with these glasses on. Ah. Surah 19, Miriam. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. <laughs> Kif ha ya and in sad. I'm sure somebody out there knows what that means. Um, this is a statement of mercy from the Lord to his servant, Zechariah. Spelled a little differently, but pronounced the same way. Um, when he cried to the Lord in secret. And he prayed, my Lord, indeed, my bones are weak. And, my, and the hair of my head shine with gray. But never am I not blessed by you, O oh my Lord, in my prayer to you. And surely I am afraid what my family and friends will do after me. But my wife is barren. So give me an heir as if from yourself. So he's asking for his, someone who's, who's almost a son of God, but not. Kind of like near beer. <laughs> Close, but not exact. Okay. Okay. 
someone who will inherit and stand for me and stand for the children of uh, Yaquib, Jacob, and my Lord, make him one with whom ye are well pleased. Because we don't want God to make somebody that pisses him off. If you're going to ask him for something, <laughs> ask him for something he already wants. Okay. Zechariah's prayers were answered. And Allah said, O Zechariah, verily we, Allah, and but it's only one God, but he calls himself in the plural, the royal we, no doubt. Uh, give, uh, we give you the good news of a son, whose name shall be Yahya, which is John. Um, on no one by that name have we given so much honor before. He, Zechariah, said, O oh my Lord, how shall I have a son when my wife is barren, and I have become quite weak from old age? He, Allah's angel, who brought the message, said, said um, It will be so. So, your Lord says, that it is easy for me, certainly, I did create you before, when you were nothing. Of course, now that you're something, you can never be nothing again. Uh, Zacharias said, Oh my Lord, give me a sign. The answer was, Your sign shall be that you shall not speak to mankind for three nights, even though you are not dumb. So we're uh, plucking from uh, the Gospel of Luke. Okay. Then he, Zechariah, came out of his chamber to his people. He told them by signs to recite all his praises in the morning and in the afternoon. Uh, to his son came all his command. Oh, yah, yeah, John. Hold on to the book with strength. And even as he was a youth, he gave him wisdom. And pity for all creatures, as from us, and purity, he was truly pious. Damn. Skeeters. Um, and kind to his parents. And he was not overbearing nor rebellious. And peace on him the day he was born, the day he dies, and the day he will be raised again to life. And now we're up to uh, 16. That's uh, John GTB, John the Baptist. They were kind of a repetition in a sense. All right. Oh yeah, but I'm going to be doing uh, a little bit on that. Oh well, it was the seventh century. All that stuff had circulated by then. They already had uh, Christian monasteries and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of it's from the Apocrypha. Some of it's from. Uh, it's all over the place. Oh, they knew about all that. Me? No, not you. I'm saying, I'm, that's my question. Uh, the Gabriel, uh, Angel Gabriel was around. Mm -hmm. And uh, same guy that uh, told Mary she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. Told Muhammad everything. See, I'm trying to help you guys. I'm making new believers, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. In the book, Quran, tell the story of Maryam, Mary when she went away from her family for prayer to a place in the east, her chamber. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, she placed a screen to hide herself from them. Then we sent to her our angel, and he appeared before her in the form of a man of respect in every way. She said, Verily, I ask 
for shelter from you with Allah, most gracious. Do not come near me if you guard yourself against evil. She told this to an angel. But anyway, uh, he said, I am a messenger of your Lord, only to announce to you, you, the gift of a righteous son. She said, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me and I am not immodest or indecent? She ain't a slut. Uh, he said, it will be so. Oh, it will still be so. Your Lord says that it is easy for me and we wish to appoint him as a sign to men and a mercy from us. It is a matter already ordered. So she started to carry him, baby Jesus, in her womb. And she went to rest with him to a far place. Apparently not Bethlehem, though. Uh, and the pains of childbirth took her to the trunk of a palm tree. She cried in her pain, Oh, if I had died before this, if I had been a thing forgotten and not even seen. Then a voice cried to her from under the tree. Do not feel sad, because your Lord has made for you a stream underneath you. And shake, your, uh, and shake towards yourself the trunk of the palm tree. It will drop fresh ripe dates upon you. So eat and drink and cool wet your eye and if you see any man say I have already promised I have already promised solemnly to Allah the most gracious and this day I will not enter into talk with any human being except for what she just said because um, she had to give a warning first and then it's like hey we're done talk to the hand okay at the end, she brought the baby to her people, carrying him, baby Jesus, in her, in her arms. They said, Oh, Miriam, Mary, truly an amazing thing have you brought. O oh, sister of Harun, Aaron, your father was not an evil, adulterous man, and your mother was not an immoral woman. Then she pointed to the baby Jesus they said, how shall we talk to one who is only a child in the cradle? He wasn't in a cradle. She was carrying him in her arms. Oh, well. Um, then the baby, Esau, Jesus, said, Indeed, I am a servant of Allah. He has given me the scripture, indeed gospel, and made me a prophet. And he, Allah, has made me blessed uh, wherever I be, and has commanded me prayer and charity for as long as I live. He, Allah, has made me kind to my mother, and not arrogant or miserable. He's only a baby, and he's already bragging on himself. Uh, and peace is on me the day I was born, the day I die, the day I will be raised again to life. Isa. Jesus, son of Mary, and Mary, was like this. It is a statement of truth about which they dispute without any use. It is not suited for the Almighty, Allah, that he should father a son. Glory to him, Allah. When he determines anything, he, he only says to it, be. And it is. Isa, Jesus said, and surely Allah is my Lord and your Lord, him alone, and you therefore worship and serve. This is a straight path. Anyway, that's the uh, story of Jesus and Miriam, and i like to show how similar it is to a different story. And it isn't the story of Jesus, curiously enough. But first, I need to take a little break. Part two. Some of you may have heard of this book. I brought an older copy because I don't want to mess up my good one. Uh, 
the Holy Bible. Genesis. Um, is it gone? Yeah. Genesis chapter 16. Birth of birth of Ishmael. <laughs> Abram's wife Sarah had borne him no child, but she uh, had an Egyptian slave girl called Hagar. So Sarai said to Abram, Listen now, since Yahweh has kept me from having children, go to my slave girl. She's pimping her out. Perhaps I shall get children through her. That's kind of cold. Uh. And Abram took Sarah's advice without much struggle, I'm sure. Uh. Thus, after Abram had lived in the land of Canaan for ten years, Sarah took Hagar, her Egyptian slave girl, and he went, wait, and gave her to Abram as his wife. <laughs> Is that what they call it? Uh, he went to Hagar, and she conceived. How romantic. And once she knew she had conceived, her mistress counted uh, her mistress counted for nothing in her eyes. That bitch! Hagar's haughty. Uh, then Sarah said to Abram, This outrage done to me is your fault! Just like a woman, man. I mean, I'm just saying. Uh, it was your idea, but it's his fault. All right. Uh, it was I who put my slave girl into your arms, but now she knows that she has conceived, which was the plan. I can't, I count for nothing in her eyes. Yahweh, judge between me and you. Very well, Abram said to Sarah, your slave girl is at your disposal. Treat her as you think fit, Sarai, accordingly treated her so badly that she ran away from her. And this is where it gets interesting. We got a pregnant lady going off out into the wilderness alone. The angel of Yahweh found her by a spring in the desert, the spring on the road of Shur. He said, Hagar, slave girl of Sarai. Where have you come from and where are you going? I am running away from my mistress, Sarai. She replied, the angel of Yahweh said to her, go back to your mistress and submit to her. The angel of Yahweh further said to her, I shall make your descendants too numerous to be counted. Then the angel of Yahweh said to her, still talking, now you are conceived and will bear a son, and you shall call him Ishmael. For Yahweh has heard your cries of distress. A wild donkey of a man he will be, his hand against every man and every man's hand against him. Even his life in defiance, uh, living his life in defiance of all his kinsmen. Well, that sure doesn't sound like what's going on these days, does it? The closest they got to a prophecy. <laughs> Hagar uh, gave the name to Yahweh, who had spoken to her. You are Elroy, by which she meant, did I not go on seeing her here? After him who sees me? <sighs> this is the way and well is called wait, this is the way the this is the why the well is called the well of Lahai, kind of like Lehi out of the Book of Mormon, huh? Uh, Lahai Ra. Uh, it is between Kadesh and Barad. Hagar bore Abram 
a son, and Abram gave his son, a, born by Hagar, the name Ishmael. What a coincidence. Abram was 86 years old when Hagar bore him Ishmael. Sounds a little like Esau and Miriam. Sounds a lot lo more like Jesus than any other account of Jesus. Except where Jesus is talking in the Quran, which is right out of the book of the infancy, uh, the apocryphal books. Of course, Buddha talked as a dip into. Anyway, I've, if there's any Muslims watching, I hope you're not too offended. And uh, tell me what you think about Ishmael versus Esau. Sound like the same story? With the, the father's unnamed in the Quran. It's likened to a son of God, but here it's Abram. And he's a big deal too, just not as big. Anyway, tell me what you think. I'm trying to figure stuff out. And um, I, hope to, I hope this gave you some interesting ideas. Uh, none of which have to do with cutting my head off. Peace. The fuck out. And have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because I want you to. And isn't this goddamn pretty? Bye.